sitting on 111 winners for the season statewide so far. Robbie Morris has a very strong book of drives at Clubman Angle on Saturday night. I caught up with Robbie to discuss the best of them. Well, Robbie, already over 100 winners for the season as per usual. Another very strong book of drives on Saturday night. Yeah, no, we've had um, a good season so far and a bit to go, so hopefully we can add a few more to that list and, um, yeah, got a nice book Saturday night. In the opening event, you're driving surface to like drawn out wide. He's been successful of late at his past two. One of them, a pearler of a drive, hugging the pegs all the way home. Yeah, we got a little bit of luck that night. It was just the way the race panned out early, but um, he's been really good. The Roy Roots team have got him absolutely flying. And uh, look, I know the draw's bad, but he's got really good high speed, so he can make his own luck from back in the field. So we'll just hopefully there's a big, good, genuine tempo throughout, and uh, he'll be hitting the line really strong. Yeah, that does look to be a very open and competitive race. It does, yeah. It looks like there's sort of a number of horses that are winning chances. Probably just comes down to tempo related and who gets the best trip. Allison's drawn nicely in three for gate two, coming off a creditable fifth behind the outstanding Tay-Tay. She's been racing really good um, at Newcastle and she deserves a chance to step back into Menangle scene. Thought her run was really good last week. She got the line really good. Um, so she's come back here and she'll run another good honest race. Through the heats of the carousel on Saturday night in the third, driving uh, Port-au-Prince, beautifully drawn in gate one. Yeah, he is really well drawn there. He's, um, he was luckless in probably a much lesser greater race last Tuesday, um, but I thought he was good enough to deserve his shot, especially with the preferential draw NR. He's going to draw pretty good. So, um, yeah, look, the, the two obviously goes good. David Thorne's horse and um, Petty Russo's horse has been in good form as well. So, yeah, look, we'll just look to probably be behind leader and um, hopefully get a good trip from there. And no doubt you realise Port-au-Prince is the uh, capital of Haiti. No idea where it is, but I'm um, glad you told me because I didn't know. Bad draw once again for Roy Roots Jr. Horse. Boys have time in the fourth. Yeah, but once again, he's racing really good. He ran a really good second there. He's got good gate speed. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a hell of a lot of speed underneath him. We'll just have to see how it pans out, but really happy with him. Also, Fear Cruisins in the race, trained by uh, Kerry Ann, Inter Dominion Rangeman. Josh Gallett takes the reins. Yeah, he won't lose any, probably gains anything there from me driving him. But, um, yeah, look, he's um, he raced really good last week. They sort of just went too slow early for him. Black Onyx is heat. He got beat two metres. He raced really good. But I'm sure with Josh back on, he'll be better. Over to race five. Beautifully drawn in three is better Federer, but I can't see him lobbing. Yeah, look, he's run at Newcastle his last start. He got caught three deep the trip. And his run was actually better than it sort of looked. Um, if he can get a good trip, he might be able to get across the inside too and lob a fence posse. If he can do that, he's, a, he's an each way chance at odds. To race six and the Troy Williams train, Little Bliss takes on the group three horses in the Norm's Daughter. Back to a suitable draw. Suitable draw, and I've got to say, like a run last week, Sitton Park was terrific. She's right up there with these mares at the moment. She's racing really good, so draws inside the better ones. We'll look to take advantage of that, and I'm sure she'll run a good race. Gee, Troy's done a wonderful job with her. He has, yeah, no, he's placed her really well and he's just let her run through the ranks, but he's done an outstanding job. Very keen to get your thoughts on the Black Prince, an eye-catching performance when resuming from his belt here last week, hit the line strongly. Yeah, he did. He, I don't know what his half was, but it would have been big first up. Uh, from all reports, he's pulled up really good and um, he lobs into the right sort of free-for-all race, in my opinion. He finished fourth, only three and a half metres from the winner where you've been bopping, which just set the field alight from the word go. From the better draw, Robbie, where do you see him landing? Yeah, I think from the better draw, we'll have to probably be a little bit positive early. I'd have to talk to Roy, you know, obviously, every race you go out there, you want to win, but there's a big picture with him. He's obviously got to get ready for the Victoria Cup and the Inter Dominion. So, um, yeah, look, it's only his second run back, but from on his first run, he was very pleasing. So, looks to be a nice enough, even field of front liners there. There doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot of speed. Probably Pete said so out wide. Um, he, we all know how quick he gets off the gate. So, yeah, we'll just have to be a little bit more positive just to put him in a good spot, I think. On Pete said so, prepared by Lucky Lodge, four starts back, Robbie. His win was brave. Yeah, he's been going really good. I've, you know, Josh sort of thought he was a little bit flat last week, but it was just one of them races. He, he sort of got left in the wrong spot. They went 31-8 down the back, and he had to come three deep solo from about the 500. And I think he just got less exposed a bit too far from home for him. But look for him to be better. If he can get across to the rail and get a helmet, he'll run a good race. Trotters wind up proceedings in the last. Sonny G off 20 metres, probably racing in career best form. Yeah, he is. You know, I thought he's when he won from the stand, I thought that's him. But then when he comes second in that free-for-all trot here, his last start, he's probably really took the next step forward. So really happy with him. If he can step good and get through the middle of him, he'll be really good. Because you're a star, they all want to say hello. Yeah, exactly. What's the best of it, Robbie? Um, geez, put me on the spot. I'd go surface delight in the first. I see he's racing really good and the trip will get him. If you get it over the longer trip, I think he brings him right into it.
special day at Club Manangle, the celebrating of a birthday, your mum Margaret. I'm not going to say how old she is, but she, there is a Beatles song that went to number one, and I think it's on the Sergeant Pepper's album. Yes, yeah, Margie May. She's um, she's yeah, she's she's uh, she's a stalwart at home. She uh, I know one thing, my boots wouldn't be clean anywhere near as clean without her. She's um, she organises me and she looks after mine and Kerry's kids, and um, we'd be lost without her, that's for sure. Yeah, she's out here today with the uh, beautiful Stella. Yeah, she had Stella out here earlier, so I um, thought she'd come down for a look, and um, yeah, she'd probably head home. We'll go to nice dinner, Italian dinner tonight, I reckon. Well, let's hope you go there with a, a couple of winners at Club and Angle tonight. Birthday wishes, Marg. May there be many more of them, and uh, Robbie, good luck on Saturday night. Thank you.